Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Let's see what a dusty do. Wow. Natasha Sneeg, thank you so much for this story. I mean, we know what they do, but at the same time, I shouldn't be surprised by now, but for some reason I still am. It gets to the point you're like, what? They did what? Yeah, just throw your life away. 17-year-old Crip rapper from Indianapolis slaughters entire family, including Prego T, because his dad said no, he couldn't go out to party. Hmm. So I wonder what he's thinking. I mean, when you're in jail, you may ask, and they're going to probably tell you, no, yeah, you can't go out to party because you're in here. 17 slaughters entire family all i can say is with the trajectory of the violence in the community I'm going to have to look at some of the ladies and wonder who, the, we, you, you know, in, in the BC, you cannot expect the men. They're not being held accountable, okay? No matter what he does, that's my son, and that's my son, and I sure love him, and he wasn't in his right mind. It's okay. He can kill five people. He wasn't in his right mind. Let's try to build him out, put money on his books. He can put children here. Like I tell one woman, and you can delude yourself. I like to keep it real with myself. Okay, it's the best way. Honestly and truly. Okay. I told her, I said, the fact that you have a man's child and he doesn't come and see the child, he may drop in. And sometimes these guys will drop in these dust buckets, be it uh, Dusty Dan, a little hood man, you know, uh, uh, Dustino. Sometimes they'll drop by and they'll also get money from the women. I heard the most crazy story. They're like, oh, that's what I told you about. I told you about. And I'm like, who? And she's like, that's what I told you about. I was like, Lord, have mercy. That's the one you told me about where she's the baby mama. He hasn't paid any money for the child. And look, uh, he got pimp game popping. I sh I'm like, I can't. Pimp game popping. He's convinced her by bullying to pay him money. It's a non-black woman. Honey, all you got to do is uh, pull out. He's he's threatening you. And you paying him money. But you're the mother. And he doesn't pay child support. You're giving him birthday money. And you're paying him money on a regular basis. You scared. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm a tough girl. I'm not a tough woman. I could be you for five minutes. And, and she's a trust affiliate with that trust fund. Oh, all we, all we need is five. Let him come over. Let's do a transformation of the bodies. And I will let him know. I'm not giving you jack-ish. And you ain't scaring nobody. And all you have to do, honey, is have your friend by your side. Yeah. Little nine by your side. Extra clip in your bosom. Shh. I wish you would scared if you think i'm gonna grab my purse and give you a man some money oh oh that woman is weak it doesn't it doesn't even make any sense to me i just can't wrap my head around it but pimp game popping so women like that I, just, I think at this point um a lot of people need to slow down on need to get off the baby bus yeah, the parenting bus. Because guess what? They don't need to be on it. How? What kind of? I don't. What kind of issue is this here? Seventeen years old. Your dad said no. You slaughtered the entire family. What the hell do you think was going to happen? I I just don't get it. And then we wonder why all oh, these young people incarcerated. Sometimes they put themselves there. It's time to make birth control a priority. If this is what 
were raising. One, two, three, ABC felony onesie. So this happened January 29th of last year. But guess what? We were, it's January, what, 2nd of 2022? And guess what? Already a young rapper dead with his family. Lil Devin. Already. Killing in Philly. Everywhere you look. So what happened in 2021, 2022, it's the same thing, boo. Same thing. So the article says six people were killed in a shooting in Indy. I'm assuming Indianapolis. Near Northside, a juvenile was taken to the hospital in a critical condition, according to police. Both Indianapolis Mayor Joe Hoxett and Indianapolis Metropolitan Police Department Chief Taylor referred to the incident as a murder during a Sunday afternoon press conference. The shooting occurred in the 3500 block of Adams Street before 4 a.m. on Sunday. Again, this is January 29th, 2021, last year. But guess what? Let, this happened last year. It's 2022. The Dusties are still here. Originally, police were called out to the nearby um, 3300 block of East 36th Street around 3.45 a.m. where a juvenile was found suffering from a gunshot wound and taken in critical condition to Raleigh Children's Hospital. Police said during the press conference that he is expected to survive. Following further investigation into the juvenile shooting, police were dispatched to the Adams Street location where they discovered multiple people shot inside a home. Police confirmed Sunday afternoon that six people were killed, including a pregnant woman and her unborn child. The Marion County cor cor Coroner has released the names of the deceased. 42-year-old mother, Kezi Childs, 42-year-old dad, Raymond Childs Jr., 18-year-old Elijah Childs, 13-year-old Rita Childs, 19-year-old Kiara Hawkins, baby boy Hawkins, a fetus, child of Kiara Hawkins, 42 years old, two parents, gone. 18, 13, 19, a fetus. So the pregnant girl, 19, and the baby. All because he couldn't go out to party. In that jail cell, are you going to be going out to party? And see, here's my thing. A seven-year-old crip rapper so this of course speaks gang affiliation to these parents if you can't control what's in your household then somebody's got to go and it sure as hell wouldn't be me the one that's paying the mortgage or an hoa let's pay the bills somebody's got to go i said before in prior videos and this is a prime example a lot of these parents and mammies they want to cover for these kids and as long as, and I hate to say this even for women, as long as they beating on that baby mama's butt, a lot of these mammies' parents are not really concerned about it. You think they don't know what these kids are out here doing in the streets? Are you kidding me? Of course they know. Not realizing that's the person's MO. This is what you this is what you're breeding. So it's okay as long as it's happening to other people. As long as they're terrorizing, killing, shooting at other people, it's okay. And then when it hits home. And I'm willing to bet. I mean, what do you think he's doing? Uh, first of all, we know rap is in this culture. It's just a culture of degradation and death from what I see. Every time you look up, there's some kind of death behind it. Death behind it. So the same thing for these parents. Did you know he was in a game? You think they're out there having tea and crumpets and having me more across the street? Is that what they do in gangs? You know what they do. That's my soul and all up and things might change and you let him go on. And then you look up, you stop and think about it. That's how this can easily happen. Why would he do this to a family? Uh, chances are it's a good probability. I'm guess willing to guess that mm, shooting up and shooting is probably what they normally do. That's what the gangs are known for. Yeah, that this is what they do. It's nothing to pull a gun. What do you think they're doing? 
Are there more in lawns for the elderly and the sickly? Out there reading on how to invest? How to start a business, a teacher business? What do you think they do? So this is the norm. And some of these parents can put your head in the sand. They know darn well what these kids are into. They don't want to be bothered. And a lot of them don't want to accept the pain for reality. They don't want to accept it. And that becomes his norm to engage in violence, to pull a gun, shoot somebody. That that becomes his norm. Just like it's uh, the norm for us to uh, read a book, the norm for us to get up and go to work, uh, the norm to take a shower. That's his norm to pick up a gun and start shooting. And the parents want to have their head in the sand until it hits home. And in this case here, like I say, I don't. You, I find it very hard to believe. Even middle class kids, these parents know what they're doing. Hanging in the streets, they want to pretend. Oh, I don't know where he is. Well, he'll be home soon. You know darn well where he is. Six people killed, including a, including a pregnant woman and her unborn child. Six, because he couldn't go out. The thing is, a lot of people need to put parenting on pause. Yeah, put it on pause. And the sad thing is, for them saying that he can't go out, you got to be kidding if you think you can wait till they're like a... There's a scripture in the biblical tournament that says, been the sap while it's young. If you think you're going to sit up here and wait till they get 12 and 15, now I'm going to get you to act right, Amanda, Becky, Daniqua, Maria. Little Nick Nick, little Vera Wang, you see? I'm gonna get you to act right. Tablasia, Tyrone, Dusty Dan, Peter. That personality is already set. The sad thing is, they said it's set by the age of four. So, this is a risk you run when you finally will say, Hey, I see what's going on, and it's got out of hand. Then you wanna intervene. You wanna put your foot down. No, you can't go. Said he couldn't go, and look what happened. They went. They exited this life. Mother and dad. A whole family wiped out. How did it get this far? Once I see, I, if it's me, if, a, if it was me as a parent, I can't control you, then at that point, it's time for you to get you a new address, boo-boo. Get, get you a new address. You can't wait till they become adults. And then you want to all of a sudden, oh, I want to, I want to go ahead and uh, I'm going to put down, it's gotten out of hand. No, it's, it's too late. So picking up a gun, committing violence, they do that just like uh, anybody else, any one of us would trade a stock. This is what they do. This is what they do. This is what they do. Indianapolis community. Six people killed inside a northeast side home over the weekend. City leaders expressing their anger at this senseless show of violence. I want those responsible to know that the full might of local, state, and federal law enforcement are coming for them. Less than a day after making that promise for justice, IMPD delivered. A 17-year-old family member now behind bars accused of carrying out those killings. Fox 59's Russ McQuaid went back to North Adams Street to get new details about the crime and that teenager's arrest. Police tell me it was a family argument in the middle of the night that led to mass murder here on Adams Street on the city's northeast side in a pursuit of a suspect across county lines. Police say a juvenile killed six family members inside this house just before dawn Sunday, including a pregnant woman and an unborn baby at near full term. Shortly before 4 a.m., police found a wounded teenager in the 3300 block of East 36th Street. When he got to the hospital, according to an IMPD report obtained by Fox 59 News, that teen told police his brother had killed everyone. Mm. When police returned to North Adams Street, they found the five bodies in the home. The sixth victim was the near full-term baby boy, 19-year-old Kiera Hawkins. 
who died along with parents Kezi and Raymond Child and their children, Elijah and Rita. According to the IMPD report, the survivor who ran for his life said his older brother got in trouble for going out Saturday night, and when he returned home Sunday morning, Raymond Childs told his son they would deal with this later. It was sometime later when the child said he heard gunshots upstairs and his sister's voice yelling that they were being shot. The teen said his brother came downstairs where he was with his parents and started shooting. There's a set of unique facts that uh, our detectives uncovered during their investigation that uh, point us fairly quickly in the direction of this young man. As relatives gathered on Adams Street Sunday morning, IMPD detectives were tracking down the older brother. But we did receive information from the community, from neighbors, uh, from people that were uh, concerned about what happened. Overnight, the older teen was tracked to an address in Plainfield and arrested. We have a serious problem in our community with people who do not know how to deal with their conflict except with a gun or a blade. As is typical when a juvenile is charged in a capital case, he will most likely be waved over to Superior Court to face adult charges. Can't handle conflict. If you can't handle conflict, you sure as hell can't handle life. So yeah, I guess he'll learn, I guess he'll learn conflict resolution when he's in jail. Newsflash. It's going to be Bubba and them boys telling him what to do. Oh, yeah. They're going to be telling him what to do. And if he starts, you know, saying no, he's going to learn it's not optional. As Tupac said, they say it's the white man I should fear. It's my own kind doing the killing around here. And not just within the culture, within families. Black Lives Matter. If only black lives matter to black people, I'm out.